Hello, my dear ones. Uh, I always like doing videos with Marcy and others that want to come in and help so you can see how we all think around here and how we all are. I'm going to do a short one here on a few Q&A's. So you got a couple of long ones written out here. And uh, it's hard when they're really long to... Uh, All right, so here's one I thought was important that we talk about. And this is Jeannie. Can you please give me information on IC? Uh, I have had it for about 15 years, and pain at times is unbearable. You got interstitial cystitis. You've got, everything is interstitial, basically. Interstitial is just what you know it to be. It's around the cells. All right, well, that's pretty simple. What is around the cells in the interstitial spaces? Two things, as far as I can tell you. Blood and lymph. Since blood is more water and lymph is more oil, you can see how they, just how God made it on. But your blood is your nutritional side. That's obvious. And it's a simple it's a simple system. People make so much about the blood. The problem is the gigantic lymphatic system. That's 80% of that blood. So when you're looking at blood, which is 20%, and yet you have interstitial, which is lymph fluid, 80%, and most people's symptoms are of acids and, and of lymph, because these are lymphomas, they're calling them and things, then we are constantly being pulled to that lymph side. The blood side, remember, can't handle acids. Uh, when you put acids, acid uh, foods, like acid forming foods, like proteins and stuff, that gives the blood a bump. Well, that's when you see not only bicarbonate, but medical doctors, bicarbonate is a small system. Try the calcium buffering system. Many universities have acknowledged this. This, and you see this firsthand, the loss of calcium in matrix because of the, the pH factors of blood. You have to maintain proper blood pH because, again, death is immediate, meaning the blood has to be in an alkaline state, predominantly over an acid state. Or your lymph floods because they deal with the acid side of chemistry predominantly, they have to have some way of dealing with all these strong acids. And the, and the lipids are the way. And so you see that cholesterol placking, but you could basically say the lymphatic system is a cholesterol system. And you see it invoked when you see acidosis. That's when you have acids, the job of an oil is to go after that. That's where you get the buildup of oils interstitially. And in the vascular walls, at that one layer of connective tissue, it can swell it up and outside of that and you, you know, occlude it. So when you're looking at any type of interstitial inflammation or acidosis, same thing, inflammation is acidosis. You must understand that the interstitial spaces is controlled by the kidneys and the skin in terms of, of elimination. And so you're either going to sweat or urinate the acids out of your body. If your urine is clear and alkaline, you're not eliminating any of your acids. So you always check your pH of your urine, see if it's clear. If it's clear, you're not filtering, and two, it's probably going to be a little on the alkaline side. That's your electrolytes. When you start on a raw food diet, your urine can get a little alkaline, and you can see a lot of electrolytes in it. That's because ionization takes a while. That's because hydration takes a little while. And so you're, there's a little process in that, in, in, in that move to getting interstitially. Because unless you can filter through the kidneys or sweat, your interstitial spaces have absolutely nowhere to go. And what's hooked to interstitial spaces? Lip nodes. Lip nodes. And, you know, if your lip nodes have been swollen for years, <laughs> that's the acid side of chemistry. And what happens when acids are involved for years? Everything gets hard as a rock. 
It's how you form stones and everything else. It's the acid side of chemistry. The alkaline side creates fluidity, an anionic medium or a medium of fluidity. It is the acid side that creates dehydration and then agglomeration, stagnation, like a lake that has no in or out. And then you have palm scum all over it. Of course, you can always collect it and sell it for a health nutrition. Palm scum, or blue-green algae, or whatever you want to call it. But that's where I would go. I'd go after my kidneys, adrenals, that diet is key. Now, you might want to be easy on the acid fruits, you know, but watermelon. Watermelon can also tear you up. That's red, and it's pretty strong, stronger than what you think. So be careful what, what, what excites you. Also, marshmallows, slippery elm teas, things like that. The heel all tea is a great tea to sip on because it's marshmallow, slippery elm, but also a little plantain to draw, things like that, little kidney herbs in there, things like that to kind of grab everything I can in a heel all type of situation or in a regenerative type of situation. But to get rid of IC or any type of interstitial acidosis, you've got to get the kidneys filtering. And it's funny because the bladder's right there. And it's just that it all goes through lymph nodes and things like that. Remember, cellular wastes are 3 pH. They should be 6 by the time they leave your bladder or you're going to feel them. When you feel that, feels like infection, that's acidosis. There's an infection, it's acidosis. If you have infectious, that means you're a meat eater and you have putrefaction in your body. But that's how I would go after that for sure and get out of that. But a lot of marshmallow, slippery elm tea, and antacids, stuff like that. Mullein is an antacid. Uh, matter of fact, the three lung tea is very helpful. Things like that helps to break up hardened sputum and stuff like that. But you want a diet of raw. You want to stay away from acids, uh, acid forming foods. Because when you create, eat acid forming foods, you're just going to exacerbate that symptom. It's horrible to have a constant urge to pee and you can't. Swelling and everything else. And this is from Dabby, D A B I. Hello, Doc. Over the past few months, I've noticed an increased tingling, uh, uh, scratching sensation on my scalp. It was not until I got my hair cut that I realized how dry my scalp feels and how rough it feels to run my hands through my hair. Uh, well, you're going to be losing it. That, that, that's, that, see, the acids change the texture of things. Bumps and swellings and stuff like this. That, that's your lymph system. Dryness, dehydration, hair loss. Yeah, it's going to be going bald on you if you ain't careful. And look at that's right there. It's the cerebellum back there. When I'm out in the sun and begin to sweat, it starts to burn as well. Oh, well, what is that? All right. So which, now, it's true that either side of chemistry burns you. All right, high alkalinity, high alka alkalis will burn you, like a lion lime. Or, the, of course, on the other side is a really burning. The real burn is on the acid side, a horrible. So when you're, when you're already acidic inside, and then you get out in the sun, you can get burned on top of burn. You can burn easy because you're already acidic. If you want a nice tan and you want to feel good, you've got to do what the islanders do supposed to do, and that is eat your fruits, your berries, your melons, eat alkaline. So the acid sun will bathe you and you will love it. It'll bring balance to the alkaline side. So this, this is, but it just shows you right there that the sun is, is showing you you're already highly acidic here, which means it's just a matter of time you're going to start losing that pretty black hair. Uh, after I got my hair cut, I noticed hair loss thinning on my scalp. Could you please help? I would do upper circumbrain, upper circumbrain and their premier formula. So that will help you a lot to getting blood going up in there, enhancing neurons, stuff like that. But you want to go after your GI tract, go after your sinuses, start draining, work on the neurolymphatic points down your back, hot and cold. Get everything moving and out. Get everything moving down and out. Get your kidneys filtering. Get all this acid out, and whatever hell or loss, it'll grow back on you. And that's what I would be doing. I was younger. No, I'd be doing that. Oh, I was 
together here. But that means when you look at working herbs, you go to the diet. Goes always without saying. But go to the upper circ, brain and nerve. Then go down, kidneys, adrenals. Go to the lymph system. Work on the lymph system. And never fail to work on the GI tract. And that controls this. Today, Tuesday or Wednesday. All right, so let's tackle some of these long ones here in a minute. I got a whole bunch of long ones. Holy moly. <laughs> this is funny. That's a lot of oh, yeah. Robert, firstly, your energy's off the charts. Yeah, baby. I have a lot of energy, to tell you the truth. I'm up all night long. I, I have a lot of energy. I, you know, I'm in a healing crisis a little bit here with my uh, back and legs, but I'm pretty good. And that is a man I listen to. Yeah, baby. Your skin is phenomenal, as is your attitude. Oh, thanks, man. I don't know your frequency of emailing back. I don't email at all. I don't even know how to email back. So, I mean, I'm an old farm boy, man. I, I, I don't play that, that computers. Ah, too, too, too much radiation. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I hate computers. I'm one of those old-fashioned kind of guys, guys. Uh, so I'll make it short until I know more. I need to restore my uh, GFRs. It's uh, 79. And now I've listened to you, not surprised. A doctor here in Canada put me on an adrenal steroid. Uh-oh. Well, that'll bring you down. A while back and kept me on it for eight years. See, that's the point right there. <coughs> well, you want, to, uh, you want to get your adrenals going from that then. You've been on adrenal you know, steroids for eight years. You want to you want to work on your adrenal glands a little bit. Use the uh, you could use the glanders at first, and then go into the herbs and that sort of thing. Uh, a fatty liver uh, uh, filled to brim with stones, and one stuck in the neck of the gallbladder landed me in emergency. Uh oh. Well, I've always said that when the gallbladder has stones, so does the liver. You know, so. But a fatty liver, that's interstitial. That's, we were just talking about it around the cells. That's where that's happening. And all that shows, you have stagnation of lymph. Therefore, the lipids are coming in to try to stop this, which your lymph system is a lipid-based system. And now you're getting a little fatty uh, liver out of that. Ooh, no, you don't want to do that because that's still a form of acidosis. So you want to, you want to deal with that. Uh, did they remove your gallbladder? Possibly. My boyfriend fought to keep them from ripping out my bladder. I, uh, oh, this is Nicole. Wow, honey. Yeah, that's too bad. Uh, I weaned off the 20 milligrams of Cortef. Took two years. Look at that. Yeah, see, now you know. You back your adrenals up, and it won't take you that long. Back your adrenals up with, uh, with a herbal formula or an, a glandular. Matter of fact, I would probably do 400 milligrams. If it was me, I'm probably going to do 400 milligrams uh, adrenal glandular. One, I would say, three times a day for about a month. Jack, put over to that one. Go down to either 200 glandular and then start adding the herbal side of the... If your blood pressure goes real low, get off of the... One, do about a month on the 200. Drop that and do herbal adrenals with licorice root. And that will help you. And that will get you away from the glandulars and everything. I think same time, pop everything up. Everything is good. Uh, started go about a flushes. Release good bunch of stones. Good deal. Don't have them take it out. We've saved every gallbladder that's ever come to us. Mm -hmm. uh, started go about a release stones and then felt pain in kidney. Ooh. Well, that could be another where your genetics are. Because remember, to have fatty livers and gallstones, you have to have kidney weakness, right? Right. Why? It's the acid system. It's the lymphatic system. And to get stones, you have to have acidosis. That's what leaches, binds. Yep. Kind of like how you get bone matrix. That's when I saw my reading, although new doc says it's normal. Thyroid is off naturally and working on getting rid of mercury fillings. 
smart due to high count of that Ooh. and naturally candidas naturally where to go from here to restore 100 percent of kidney filtration is my question nicole i would do some 24 to 36 hour dry fasting maybe once or twice a week hit yourself up on a high fruit berry and melon diet hit the kidney formulas uh, I, I like two formula kidney formulas simultaneously i would hit the adrenals too because i remember one guy kept using the kidney formulas and he couldn't filter he did i said well try the adrenal just to see what it would do he started filtering when he hit the adrenal formula so you know they, they, they live on each other brother and sister man and wife however you used to look at it they, they need to go together so work on both of those and uh, everything will be good that way but that's how I would go down that road and uh, fix yourself up that way but you know it's just a few herbs and, and diet that's it as simple as that is it can really take you through that 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 uh, movement of detoxification so there's healing crisis old haunts coming to surface and then leaving all of this stuff let it all go okay let everything go don't matter let your feelings your emotions for the for the girl that lost her boyfriend and she was crushed let him go let him go you know what there's no such thing as your soulmates, but you can find people very compatible with yourself and look for that. You know, if you've lived with incompatibility for years, try finding someone that's more compatible. You know, opposite uh, attract only till you become more conscious. And then you decide to look for someone that is a little more harmonious with your, uh, with you and that sort of thing. Just a natural last few years thing, maybe. So Sarah, here's Sarah. I was diagnosed a year ago with Hashimoto's. That's Dr. Hashimoto, please. Yeah, you know, so many people run around with Dr. Hashimoto on their thyroid. Get off, Dr. Hashimoto! I am transitioning to a vegan diet. I would transition to a raw food diet up to the fruits, berries, and melons and go for the gold, baby. And I'm trying to detox as well. Well, that'll make you detox. I know you recommend detox for the lymphatic system. The only one to detox, really. I mean, the blood comes clean and nothing else to detox in the body. What? You're just talking about cells. So everything is cells. What are you detoxing? The fluids. So you can detox the blood, but it's not a real carrier uh, of toxins and things. I mean, it does, but not like the lymph system. You can't uh, compromise the blood without dying. So, you know, you're going back to that sewer system. Just look at it as the body's sewer system slash immune system. Is there anything else I can do to try and heal myself of Hashimoto's? Well, you can use... I'd say if you have uh, little polyps or things in the thyroid, I don't know if I would use a glandular, but you could. Or use the thyroid herbs. Excellent for the thyroid gland. Got all full of iodine, but also full of herbs for the thyroid gland. Uh, Saw palmetto is excellent for that. But at the same time, what makes thyroids go down? So I'm, I'm a cell sitting in your thyroid gland. That blood's coming to me. Yeah, yummy, yummy, yummy. Got my food coming. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, that's the other part. Okay, that's taking it away. Well, I don't really have any problems. Now, if blood wasn't coming to me, I could die from that. That's a very serious. I don't get to the cell. I'm gonna. The cell's gonna die. So that's a no-brainer. Absolutely a no-brainer. But and blood doesn't suppress. It kills. So all right. So that's only 20% of the fluid that's that's around me. Wow. I've got more sewer floods around me than I have blood. I have 80% sewer floods around me. Uh-oh. Could that be what a tumor and a polyp comes from? It's not a blood expression. It's a lymphatic expression. So in the acute and subacute stages of lymph stagnation or acidosis, this turns, remember, a blue eye white and the subacute onto yellow, those are either uh, hypo or hyper. It can actually create acidosis can actually create hyper stages of thyroid as it does hypo either way it just depends upon genetics and things like that the condition of the pituitary so it doesn't matter it's always the lymph system that brings the cells down if you and it's also the system that occludes the blood vessels so you can't get blood to cells too so the blood is just getting beat up through the lymph system again it will always think it out it will always come down to the lymphatic system system and which side of chemistry are you eating on that's all there is 
You can grab and call things medical doctors' names and put diseases on them so you don't have to tell anybody what truly causes them because you don't know. But when you do, people need to know, you know, and people need to know the truth of things. So go after this, Sarah. Detox. Get your bowels cleaned up. Remember your transverse relationship. Clean your gut. Get that open. Get your kidneys to filter. Get your sinuses drained. Neti pot if you have to. Ear candle. Open. Open. Hmm. Sweat. All right. I think I'll read one more. I told you we're just going to do a short one here, but there's so many long questions here. Wow. Um, this one is like five pages long. That's um, hard when there's so many people with questions here that uh, are so important. I I'll do a, a video and I'll get into these long ones. Well, yes. Okay, this is uh, Tanya, Tana, T O N I A. Tona? Anyway. I have been watching your videos for about two weeks now and have learned so much. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. That's what these are for. If you can't learn from my videos, then I'm going to quit. I mean, I make them as simple as I can, and we have the backing. Look at all the people getting well. Our clinic does. Don't, very few people don't get well. They either quit, they can't, you know, they, they burn out, can't do it, or, you know, very few pass. You know, but we do get advanced people, and you will too. You know, a lot of look at Jonathan in uh, and and Canada. You you get so many of the the gnarlies, man. I I don't know. Every time you call me, I'm wondering what you got next. It's like my God, you get the worst of the worst. And he's saving most of them. There's a few going to pass always, you know. But you got to realize you're just with when you pass from here, you're just pulling your attention away. You're done. Body can't house your attention anymore, so you're just pulling it away into your next body. You got that body right there for you. You're just pulling it back into it. That's your astral body. That's where your attention is. Unless you develop your consciousness and you pull back to pure consciousness. And that's what I'm trying to teach you is how to get as high as you can before you leave this planet. And your experience is going to be woohoo! Unbelievable! So, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge. You're welcome. You are truly amazing. Well, you are too. You know, each and every one of you are amazing. Don't ever think you're never amazing, because each and every one of you are an individual expression of the divine. Never forget that. You know, we get caught up in attitudes and opinions and unhappinesses and stuff like this, but when you eat dead animals, you eat a high acidic forming diet, it, does, it makes you grumpy and it makes you unhappy and it's an irritating diet when you don't even know it. Notice how the fruits, and I hear this comment, did the same thing to me. The fruit diet soothes opens up your awareness because it's energy. Remember what quantum physics says about energy? Energy is and has intelligence. Uh-oh. That means all the energy flowing around us has intelligence. What could that be? Could that fit into the omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient of Christianity? But of course it does. Where is God not? Would be an easier question to answer. I have been a vegetarian for 20 years now and dairy and soy free for almost five. Good deal. I got to try a raw food or so. Get up on that raw food level. That's the level. Uh, I got into a situation and contracted a bacterial infection. But you can't contract a bacterial infection unless what? You have a culturing medium. If you don't have the culturing medium, you can't culture. But well, what would be the culturing medium for bacterium? Let me see. Sewer system? <laughs> Sewer system? Absolutely. You know, when you smell like the dead animals you're eating, kind of hard for bacteria to go, nah, nah, I'll just stay away. No, yummy, yummy, I got love in my tummy. Where is that? I mean, it's just nature. You know, you shoot an animal, well, you don't have to wait. Flies will beat you over to just walking over to it. I'm telling you, nature is poised to go after its weaknesses. That's what it does. It can't afford to procreate its weaknesses. They're terminated or eaten. Something. Uh, so, you got to remember that. Clean and strengthen. Clean and strengthen. Ooh. I got into a situation, contracted bacterial infection. I absolutely hate, H-A-T-E, to take any medication. I don't blame you. I uh, and don't unless I absolutely have to. I know what you're going to say. Yeah, 
I was prescribed a single dose of a thousand milligrams of, oh, I don't even know this one, Zithro, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a, a trade name for Zithromax. Hmm. Oh, I know, the, I'm very fair with the Zithromax, but uh, at least it isn't Cipro. Now, I don't know, I'd have to look up uh, Zithromax to remember any side effects, but you, you want to make sure, not like Cipro causes uh, blood clots, strokes, and heart attacks. I, I, if, if, that's, if that's in some of the side effects, I would, wouldn't go there, because I have had clients that it gave heart attacks to taking Cipro. No, no, no. No, no, no. I was very hesitant on taking it, but I did it anyway. Well, you did it anyway then. I have a feeling of regret about it too because I don't know what kind of damage I have done to my body by taking it. Okay, now here's the thing, guys. If you get a weak moment and you do something like that, don't continue to make it a weak moment. Right? In other words, all right, you did. All right, that's in the past. That's gone. Live in the now, all right? So now, what system do I have to work on because I got a bacterial infection? That means you have to have lymph stagnation first to have a bacterial infection second. Because where's the bacteria in the body? Predominantly in gut, and where else? Lymph nodes. So this is vital to understand that these are just little creatures trying to clean you. You might not like the acid hit when they all get excited. But remember, they also leave a little bit of uh, waste and byproducts. So, you know, you, you just have to get into that sewer system and clean it out. No sewage, no bacterium. It's that simple. Bacteria doesn't come into a place where there's no food. Get real. Understand, life is about eating at all levels, consuming. So don't regret it, sweetheart. There's no sense in regretting anything like that. Uh, we, we freak out. We do things. I, I, I don't blame anybody for doing anything. But now get smart about why you had the bacteria infection. It'll be back because you did nothing but kill. Killing the bacteria in the body is the most unwise thing because of the lymph nodes. Killing the bacteria in your lymph nodes could be very serious. I want you to think for a minute. You go out to your sep If you have a house with a septic tank, Go out and have them pop the lid off and look inside, right? Ugh. Full of nasties, right? But also full of what? Bacteria. How is that so important? If you did not have bacteria in your septic tank, you would be calling the SOS guy, the septic tank cleaner, about every three four months because nobody's breaking down your solids. Your, 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 your liquids are going into the drain field but nobody's breaking down the solids, and if nobody's breaking down your stool, it's backing up. And yuck! And pretty soon you'll flush the toilet. Oh, there's all my stool that I... Oh, nasty. You need bacteria on the planet. Thank you, Lord. Just because you have a, a pseudoscience that thinks that bacteria is the problem, now look. They've over antibiotic everything, including the animals. Now the animals can't fight anything off because it's bacteria that helps you fight things. They don't give you nothing. They help you fight things. Just because you don't like the roar of the lymph system when they start uh, chewing, you know, you got to understand that. Uh, my question is, how long does it take to clear up, uh, clear this crap out of my system? Well, that depends how much crap and what level. You know, look at your eyes, and is your kidneys filtering? How do you have blue eyes that are actually brown? Could take a while. That's chronic. Do you have blue eyes that are white? That's acute. That's quicker. Blue eyes that are yellow? That's subacute. A little longer. Notice you get this mucus out when you detoxify. When you're into the acute levels, you get that clear mucus out. That's what you put in basically recently. And it goes a little deeper. You get the yellow mucus out. That's subacute. It turns the eye even yellow, right? Then you get into the chronic brown, and that's what you end up. You dig deep enough, you'll get the green brown, and if you dig a little deeper, you'll get the black tiry stuff out of you, and that's nasty. When I hit that mother load, I know you're next to done. I'm, I'm, I'm right there. I'm going to get this last black sewage out of you. You're not going to even begin to realize how good you feel. There's just, there's no, there's no words to describe how much ecstasy and joy and happiness you have when you have a clean body, clean thoughts, clean emotions. And you're free from the slavery of thinking, the slavery of, of feeling and emotions ripping you one side and down the other, like the poor girl's boyfriend that left her, ripped her apart. You can't let that happen because he took your power away from you. 
You must enter your relationships with full power of yourself or your relationship or a bumpy ride emotionally. And that's not fun because up and down, up and down. You want a relationship that soars into the heavens, don't you? That's what I thought. I have t taken three weeks of lymphatic I uh, four and kidney and bladder. I so far have stomach and bowel three. Well, if you're moving your bowels every day, go to stomach and bowel number one. If you miss a day, go to number two. And if you miss two or three days, go to three. But if you're pooping every day, don't take number three or two because that means you'll have three or four or five poops a day. No, I don't want to. It's not about stimulating. No, 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 no. You don't have to stimulate things like coffee enemas and stuff to get things well, like the Gearson. You don't have to stimulate nothing. Chemistry does it all for you. You're just on the acid side of chemistry. All you got to do is scoot over to the alkaline side, and it's the detoxifier, the cleanser side of chemistry. That's just chemistry does it all for you. You don't have to get into all these uh, stimulants with acids like coffees and stuff like that. That just that, that causes so many problems. She has parasitism, adrenal formulas coming in the mail any day now. So go after that. You know, go after your, your kidneys, your adrenals, your lymphatic system, your GI tract, and your endocrine glands. Those are the focuses. Anything else you want to pick up, pick it up. Is there anything else I need to do to get myself back to where I was before I made the mistake of putting the meds in my body? You want to fix why you had the bacterial infection. Forget about the meds, honey. Forget about that. It's a done and over with. Go after the reason that you had a bacterial infection. Go after that. That means you have to go after the sewer system. If you go after the sewer system, yes, you guys have got it. That's the lymphatic system. Absolutely. Show me another system in there and I'll be glad to change my mind. Anytime you guys let me know. I don't think so. It doesn't exist. Antoinette. Hello, Antoinette. First, your videos are so inspiring and positive, so thank you. Thank you for watching them. You know, if you don't watch them, they're just hanging there. So I love you guys for watching them and taking on this information and using it because it will bring you into Wellville and it will bring you into Godville. Guaranteed. Now, um, oh, here, okay, so she's a 30 year old female with POTS syndrome. Uh, <clears throat> so, when you get ovarian, when you're having a lot of ovarian cysts like this, what system is involved in cysts and tumors? Blood? No, the lymph system. And there it's in your face. Here's another lymphatic problem. Get the kidneys to filter, and you'll quit popping these ovarian cysts. You know, and that's important. Remember, I told you about the lady that had a 303 pound, 303 pound ovarian cyst. She was a little thing. But the tumor was out here. They willed her into surgery. They brought a dolly. They brought a dolly in, laid her on her site, and proceeded to cut this ovarian cyst. An ovarian cyst? 300 pounds? I watched the surgery. Watched the whole thing. It was like, wow! Wow, wow, wow. What a lymph uh, a stagnation issue that is. Just imagine all the feed into that, all the sewer feed into that or ovary. Oh my God, it's amazing it didn't atrophy away before it got that big, you know. Horrible. Looks like elephant legs and stuff like that. That's all lymphatic stuff. Elephantitis and all the other stuff, the uh, lymphedemic type things. These are uh, tumors, the, uh, the uh, leprosies and stuff. This is all major lymphatic problems and they can be fixed. Mm -hmm. So, oh, she's got gastritis and candida. Well, gastritis, remember, interstitial, remember, around the cells. That's the lymph system, and the only remedy is to deal with the lymph system, and that's your kidneys, adrenals, and skin, skin thyroid. So work on those. Get yourself sweaty. Get yourself filtering. Dry fast if you need to. Use kidney formulas. The raw, the fruits are stringent. That will help the kidneys to filter. But that's where you have to go, sweetheart, because you've gotten some things here adding up on you. The gastritis, you want to get rid of that because, again, uh, a lot of people just blame hydrochloric acid. They know this is interstitial stuff. That's where you get into gastroparesis and things like that. Uh, the candida, just take parasite in. If you have heavy candida, take a dropper and a half, two droppers full every uh, three, four times a day. Go after that. But remember, 
clean the sewer system because you can only have so much of an effect by killing them. And remember, we talked about the yellow toenails and the, and the yellow fingernails go after your lymph system and it'll pull all that out of there and you'll be free of it. Now, this is it. detox is the only way to, to deal with all of this stuff and that fixes the glands, fixes proper metabolism of sugars, fixes things. And then the way you eat pulls you away from fermentation and putrefaction because the fermentation invites Mr. Who. What species of microbes deal with fermentation? Fungus? Absolutely. How do you how you do your breads and everything else with yeast? Same family, yeast, fungus, moles, warts. <laughs> they feeding on you. Or what you're not breaking down in chemistry. So, you know, getting this digestion, absorption, utilization with proper elimination, that's your key. Fix those things and brother, you got a dynamic body. Kind of hard to have anything when those are all fixed. Uh, toenail, <laughs> toenail, chronic yeast, figured, <coughs> excuse me, please, chronic yeast infections, yeah, you're loaded, and that could, could bring up ideas that you might even have sulfur, might why you feel the gastritis a little bit, you could have sulfur all in the gut, get a picture of your eyes and take a look at it, see if there's any orange in your eyes and all that, but if you have sulfur, then I can understand why you're loaded with this, but you got to keep pulling the sulfur out, use the GI broom, you got to work on your lymph system to get all this candy, you can't just do a kill, it isn't enough just to do a kill, uh oh, you, know, you won't be successful, small, yeah, a little bit, yeah, but when you have toenails turning, nah, Allergic uh, retinitis, I can't go on the candida diet as I'm already thin. All right, dear one, I mean, you've got some problems here, and it's tied to the gastritis here. What does it mean when you're really thin and you can't put on weight? Anybody out there? Two things. So you either have hyperthyroidism, I doubt it, or malabsorption. Malabsorption, you agree, ladies? They agree. So, what is malabsorption? A lymphatic problem. And also, you could get a little plaque on the walls, this uh, mucoid plaque from all the uh, white flour products and uh, dairy products and meats and stuff. They can leave this thick plaque on the wall, a mucousy plaque on the wall from being mucus forming, so irritating the mucosa of the gut. So, that stuff can harden and you can't absorb through it, through the lacteals and the like. But interstitial lymphatic constipation big one so you got to fix the lymph system and you're going to get thinner doing it but if you don't you'll always have this problem but it doesn't always it just doesn't sit there and become gastritis it just doesn't sit there and be IBS oh no no acids don't sit there and just take it no they're the gnarly ones all right let's see how bad we can make this small all right so then you get into the ICs or the or the uh, alternate you see the alternative colitis uh, all of these things this isn't good. Then they start cutting out like that one lady I read the other day on the video. It got to me. Cutting half her bowels, almost all her bowels out. And she's a young woman. That's the stupidity of that. Is you have to remove tissue when you can simply open the door and clean it out and rebuild it. Doesn't make sense when you're 30 years old to go through hell the rest of your life without bowels and things. It's disgusting out there. And we, we need to fix it. Oh, yeah, be careful what you're taking for these yeast infections. I, I, I'm telling you, these antivirals and antifungals have uh, uh, fatal events tied to them. Be very careful. You don't want to end up croaking, dying from taking an antiviral or antifungal. Be very careful. Herb side, no problem. Pharmaceutical side, big problem. Uh, also, uh, I would use the eye wash. I would uh, use uh, 12 drops in an eye cup of eye water, a skin temperature, and wash my eyes out a.m. and p.m. Uh, and low BP, of course, that, that's, that's your kidneys and adrenals right there, low blood pressure in your kidneys. So that, that already tells you you're going to have lymphatic problems. So you've got to go after your adrenal glands. Uh, and does it make any sense to restrict live foods and eat dead foods? I can't go on candida diet as I'm already thin and low blood pressure and doesn't make any sense to restrict live foods and eat dead foods. No, it doesn't. 
You want live foods. There's not a condition in this world that you don't want live foods for. Now, in a state of balance, if you're going through extreme detox symptoms and you want to pull back, it's been long, it's ratting you out, start eating cooked vegetables. It'll stop the detox. Well, what does that tell you? Eating low vibrational dead foods doesn't keep your body clean. Fruit, you know, when you eat a fruit diet and a vegetable diet, it's self-cleaning. It keeps you hydrated, it's self-cleaning, it's full of astringent, so everything is being cleaned as it is enhanced and fed. How better could you get? Took the divine one to do that. Man, oh. oh. Is this a lymphatic problem? Oh, a big one. A big one, more than you think, honey, and you want to fix this one because that excessive thinness is a serious problem. It's not a funny problem. People don't realize how serious excessive thinness is to them. Uh, starvation, and it's not fun. My sister died of that, and it's not fun. It's, it's not smart. It's very fixable. Uh, how to start? Get on these kits and get on a raw food diet. Head up to the fruits, berries, and melons and honk on, baby. If you can afford, just get one or two kits. Whatever you can do, that will give you an idea of what you need to take. You get to see yourself going through it, and then you get an idea of what you're doing. So jump in. At least get the first kit. It's a two-week kit. Jump on it and see what you think. But I would up my parasite M to two dropper fulls three time, four times a day, actually. And I would do my parasite G, and I would repeat that twice. In other words, I'd do a full month of parasite M and G. G, I would do four capsules four times a day in case you've got worms in your sewer system. It's possible with all of this. I, I've tried fruits, but sometimes cause a discomfort. Yeah, I mean, you've got a lot of inflammation in the gut. So you might want to stay away from your acid fruits and stuff. Go to your sub-acids, more green drinks. But uh, you got to get up there, higher up on this scale. But uh, you can use herbs to, of course, open everything up. And But using it as a kill, use it a little bit, but detox. Get your lymph system moving, and you'll be good with that. All right? All right, so I think that uh, I'm going to come back tomorrow. Uh, let me read one more. I'm bad about that, but you guys have been so patient on me. And, uh, oh, Dr. Morris, I want to start by thanking you. Well, thank you, man, for existing. Oh, wow. Well, thank you for existing, too, my man. Oh, Anna, this is a female. Thanks, sweetheart. Appreciate it, honey. You, too, though. You know, we're all here having fun together, right? If you're not having fun, change it. Only you can change it. Get your body healthy. We're going to help you. We're here. We're not going anywhere, at least for a while. And we'll help you. you got a great staff to help. So we're going to help you always. You have blessed my life more than you will ever begin to know. Oh, that's neat. Uh, and I'm healing more every day by the grace of the Lord. Ah, good, sweetheart. Good deal. And the guidance of you, I am currently... Uh, pursuing a career in natural health and I'm wondering where you went to receive your master herbalist degree uh, Dominion in uh, actually I've been through about four schools but Dominion is the bigger one uh, in Canada that's a really good old herbal school there and they've really kicked up their coursework so it's a really it's getting tougher they had one up there I took was Emerson they were I don't know if they're still in business but they were really good you know when you do an online course or you do an off-campus course you want that course to make you think uh, since you don't have a life professor there dealing with this you want to make sure that the school makes you think doesn't give you the answers that's easy stuff that you 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 want a course and Emerson and really made you think what herbs you were using for what. Dominion is a little more helpful, but Dominion gets into A&P, anatomy, physiology, and a whole bunch of things because their philosophy is if you ever pull into court, they want a smart herbalist that knows how to dance around medical thinking. So it's a really good school, but you've got the schools in Australia, you got the Australian Herbal College, and these are minor colleges, but still pretty good, I suppose. There's all kinds of people out there setting up herbal schools too, but Dominion is probably one of your bigger or better ones, in my opinion. But I would work on get two or three of them. Learn about herbs. But remember, herbs for diseases is man's shortcoming, fallacy. You don't want to get that. You want to lose the concept of diseases in the first place. It'll keep you safe anyway in terms of helping people. And diseases belong to them. Not really, but they made that up and everything. So they made it common language, which is a problem. But if you want to stay legally good, 
don't use their words. You know, they're, they're a sick, sick organization, brother. I am hoping to obtain my MH as well as, and am wondering where I should go to do this. Also, what is a good iridology program to do? I do not want to do Ellen Jensen's. Thank you. Thanks for that. Insults uh, the old man all the time. I just have a hard time with that because I know the truth behind Jensen and, and her and what he thought of her. I probably shouldn't say that over the YouTube. So it's enough to say I feel the same way after he told me everything about her. So it's like, you know, uh, Dr. Jensen was my great buddy. So, but it's enough to say that. Come to our iridology class. There's another guy, but uh, he teaches a little bit of German iridology as well. It's enough to learn that. But we have new charts coming out because we've redone the iris chart, even from Jensen. There are some things that we have learned, my 45 years of an iridologist, that I've learned that is a little different than the charts. And so we're coming out with a more updated chart. And then we. Uh, are understanding far more of lymphatic iridology. This is another chart we have coming out, and it's going to show you the lymphatic system in iridology. That's another big thing that's not out there, is understanding the lymphatic system in iridology. This is a big deal. So I think we're premier at that. But anywhere you can find an iridology thing to get some information and get a little degree, fine. But come to ours and we'll help you how to learn to read them, and then how to make a protocol from reading them. How, when you have an eye like this, what's wrong with the person and how, what do you give them to make them better? See, that's what we teach you is looking at an eye and telling what's wrong with the person through reading the eye and then how do you fix that? That's pretty cool. Keeps you safe. Oh, look at this weakness. We're going to fix that. Oh, you have a, you have a swelling here. It could be a cyst or tumor maybe, but you know, you got to get that out of there. Things like that. You get to see your genetics. You get to see the lymphatic system. Pretty cool stuff. All right, my dear ones, love you all. Thanks so much for joining us. That's a lot of fun. Make your life fun. You know, let go of the things that are grinding you and bringing you down. It's not worth it. Let it go because every day should be a joy for you. If it's not, make it so. You're in command of your ship. We could help you get your physical body better, teach you how to pull back from thinking and emotions, but it takes your presence to do it in the present. Love you.